Hi, this week's lab's on the magnetic field created by currents going around a slinky. So first off, a little background. The current's going through a straight piece of wire, as you can see here with the current with going up. We can use the right-hand rule to find the cur sorry, the magnetic field around it, which in this case goes around this way. Now something interesting happens if we coil the wire up into a circle. You can still see that the current goes around. And at each of these spots, if we do the right hand rule, we'll see that all the way around the circle, the magnetic field inside the loop goes this way. And outside loops back around. So what it is is all those different parts, they all give you a strong magnetic field straight in and out. And on top of that, we can also add more coils. And given that it coils the same way, it adds even more to the magnetic field. And you end up with a fairly uniform, straight magnetic field, which is very useful when making electromagnets. So that's why, in many devices, you find these coils of wires that we call solenoid. Uh, it's got many, many turns. Some has even more turns. This one has 3,400 turns. Uh, you'll find these in devices all the way from you know speakers and mics, all the way up to particle accelerators and NMRs. However, it's not very easy to study these uh, solenoids because they are fixed. So that's why we get one of these old-fashioned metal slinky. It's got the right shape, and we can change the length of it. So that's why we're using this slinky. So let's take a look at uh, the setup itself. So this is a setup for the experiment. You've got a power supply which we're using the 6 volts setting through your ammeter using the 10 amp scale over to your rheostat which is a knob that you can control your current with and alligator clip onto your slinky make sure you're clipping on the two ends and that the rings are fairly well evenly spaced out and then back to the power supply, that's your circuit and lastly you've got the magnetic probe which is composed of this box here where you want to make sure that the switch is flipped onto high and this wand where the sensor actually is. The sensor is at the very end here. Uh, pay attention to where this white dot is because that's going to help us orient the sensor both this way and also in the twisting direction as well. The first thing you want then you go to Logo Pro is to zero the uh, magnetic probe. So you know this is not reading zero right now. Once you hit zero it gets much closer to zero won't read exactly at zero, but then the more important thing is we have to figure out the direction of the probe itself. So we turn on the system with an appropriate current and we move this probe around until we get the maximum reading. So and then we also twist it, make sure you check both orientation. And looks like I'm getting lower, so I come back. Right there. Now once we have our orientation set, this orientation should be pretty consistent for all the different reading for all the different lengths. Now because we've moved it, we really should double check our zero reading. Then I turn the power off, and I notice that the zero is off again, so I zero it again before collecting data itself. Then I hit collect, give it a couple seconds, Turn the power on, collect data for maybe like five seconds or so, then I can turn it off again. And that whole time when it was on, then I can use my statistics function to um, get the average value or the mean value, and also the maximum and the minimum, which will give me a sense of the uncertainty of the reading. Now the rest of the detail is in your lab report, so please do read through that. And I also invite you to challenge the uh, optional um, activity as well. So, we'll see you in the lab. Thank you.